says, give me the top three teams that would trade for Jimmy G. Also, are we buying into this Mac Jones pick? Uh, I'll let you answer the questions. First. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I think the top three teams for me, it's obvious is number one with New England. Um, but I think the other two teams that that stand out to me are the Broncos, because I just don't think mm-hmm. they're going to be aggressive enough in the draft for quarterback. And yeah. the, I think a team like the Washington football team, who while they they got Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's, he's a good quarterback. And honestly, he might be better than Jimmy. They might want a younger, higher upside guy, which I don't see that as much with Jimmy. But hey, yeah. you know who, who knows how they feel about him. And in the terms of the Mac Jones pick, look, uh, I think it's impossible to read into Kyle Shanahan's psychology right now. And like we've said, it's going to be his guy no matter what. We know that. Um, in terms of Mac Jones, though, I understand why Kyle would like him a lot. And um, I'm not as against it as you are, Jesse. I would just be disappointed. Um, I, th- yeah. I think it wouldn't be the exciting <laughs> pick. It wouldn't be the sexy pick, right? Okay. But... If, listen, if he's a better quarterback than Justin Fields and Trey Lance, take him. I don't care. I yeah. mean, I, I, I certainly don't know who the best quarterback is in this draft, and I'm not going to – Nobody. Pretend, let's be honest. No, none gonna, of us do. None yeah, of us. well, and especially I think people need to point this out. It needs to be addressed more. It's hard. It's a harder year than it ever has been. You know, totally. even, even compared to last year, the teams had the combine. They had some pro days, and they had a yeah. lot of the stuff in person before everything that happened happened. So yeah. for me, this is like the hardest year in terms of evaluating these quarterbacks. And You're right. man, if, if listen, if Mac is Kyle's guy, go for it. But um you know what I miss? I don't know if you ever if you ever watch these. I'm sure somebody watching used to watch these. Remember when Gruden used to do his quarterback? Oh, I Gruden love that. Oh, I, love, I those. love those. Those were so dope. I would love to see that with these guys right now. I oh need that God. in my life. I need it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And you know, it was, I don't know if you remember, but they got actually tried to get Russell Wilson to replace him for that. And uh, yeah. let's just say he wasn't as personable as Gruden. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. All right. So I'll answer the question. So give me the top three teams that you think would trade for Jimmy. Again, Patriots, we know. Um, I'm going to say the Texans because there are some ties to the Patriots organization over there. And I'm going to go with the Bears just because he's a Chicago guy okay. and the Bears are so dumb. They, I swear, they have no they idea what they're doing over there. It's funny because there was an article that came out. Their GM was like, and by the way, I don't know how he is still has a job after taking Trubisky. Like, we understand that if we take the wrong guy in this draft, like that whole office is gone. So the fact that he still has a job over there blows my mind. But he said something along the lines of, well, I really learned a lot from that. Well, did you? Because Andy Dalton's your quarterback this year, and you paid him five times the amount that you could have just paid Trubisky for keeping him. Trubisky's better than Dalton. I don't care what you say at this stage in their career. Trubisky's better, especially for a fifth of the price. So – I'm not buying it. I don't think you learned anything and we could trade you Jimmy G. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I just want to, I'll push back on that for a second. I don't, I'm not as big on Trubisky. I like, you know, for me, I like football players who don't throw to one side of the field, but um, (laughs) there's that infamous Twitter video. If anyone knows what I'm referring to, but um, I mean, like you're saying at that price. Yeah. And Chicago's a dumb team. We know this and, and and their, their GM is going to be desperate. We know that. And, And he's like, he's, a year away from getting fired that is yeah, like yeah. Gar- that is guaranteed so yeah they could for easily sure. just say oh we'll throw a second and a fourth for jimmy garoppolo and try and make this work <laughs> give us another year we just need some more time with the new this guy whatever it, it's it's the same nonsense all these gms try and push out right when they're about to get fired right and yeah i do buy the hype with mac jones it scares the heck out of me i don't want anything to do uh, with it and we'll talk about him in a minute 